The violent and deadly struggle to reclaim their land ended 22 years ago at Ipperwash, but Chief Tom Brissett of the Chippewa of Kettle and Stony Point is ready to re-engage, this time in a new battleground, the courtroom. In a City News exclusive, Brissett shows the obstacles his people face in clearing their land from leftover military explosives while trying to gain employment. No, you can't do this. You're not smart enough to do this yet. That's the way it is to me. Chief Brissett is talking about the cleanup of the land, getting rid of the contamination and clearing away hundreds, maybe even thousands of hidden explosives. And that's roughly about a $300 million price tag. And that's why we're saying we want some jobs. Employment is scarce for the Chippewa. The reserve is surrounded by rich, fertile Ontario farmland. But their land, Stony Point, is unusable until it's been cleared. A process National Defence estimates will take 15 to 20 years. So that's what all the, these little... Yeah, they're all flags of uh, targets. But part of the final settlement agreement includes potential job and training opportunities for the residents. And they were just going to give us a few hand-picked jobs. We were talking about cleaning up vast areas using the equipment they do and the personnel. But they, they said, we don't think you can do it. They're just me here now. Mike Cloud was one of the first to occupy the camp in 1993. He's stayed there ever since. He says the elders wanted more for their children. They didn't want our people just to be laborers. They wanted them to do the technical jobs, the, the important, the really educated jobs. So what are they working on right now? Unexploded ordnance. His foster daughter is one of the few who has been able to train and be part of the cleanup. She is a tech one bomb disposal person here too. And she did her demo. Her first demo, I think it was three years ago. The government has a strict procurement process to follow. While there are contracts awarded specifically to Indigenous groups, a Calgary company, for example, is currently doing the bog cleanup at Stony Point, there's no guarantee jobs will go to those who live in the community. A local indigenous company has picked up two small contracts for things like landscaping and debris removal, but that's not the deal Brissett says he reached with the government. That's what I want to do. I want to go in front of a court judge. Now when it's a chance for them to be able to build something for their own future, they get that taken from them. That's what hurts them the most. It's, we're going home, we're going to live there. Why can't we clean our own land? The Department of National Defense says the Chippewa are welcome to bid on all contracts for the cleanup, but says ultimately the bids are awarded on a strict list of requirements and regulations.